In this video, you will learn how to admit your chess mistakes during the game. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Grandmaster and today I will show you one of my most important games in my life. So, you know, in chess, you are doing so much mistakes and maybe the most hard thing for you is to understand and to admit your mistakes and solve it, right? So during my chess career, I had, you know, like so much, um, you know, mistakes that I made and the most beautiful thing in chess that you are alone, right? And you must understand and admit it and only if you can do it, you will improve your decisions into the game and improve your pieces and yeah also psychological point of view it will be very very good for you so in this game i played eight years ago against a very strong grandmaster from serbia dujan popovic and you know i was in this um, time um, a soldier in the army service and my good friend, Grandmaster Tamin Nabati, called me and said to me, you know what, Nitsan, let's fly to Serbia and play some chess. And I said to him, you know what, come on, let's do it. And, you know, Tamir Nabati, one of the best players in history of uh, Israel. And let's see this game. I was uh, with white pieces against a very strong Grandmaster from Serbia. So e4, g6, d4, bishop, g7, and now, of course, the best move uh, for now is to play knight c3. As I already showed to you in my YouTube channel, um, you can see and search a game between me against Ikaro Nakamura, one of the best players in the world. And I played here there knight c3 after d6, knight f3, a6, bishop e3, with bishop d3. For example, b5, bishop d3, bishop b7, a4, b4, knight b1, and white is very good there. You can analyze a little bit, but it's really, really beautiful. You can also learn from my uh, uh, YouTube video against Ikaro. So I played c3, very ugly move. d6, knight f3, knight d7, bishop d3, seems okay until now. Uh, e5, knight bd2, knight uh, gf6, castle, castle, rook e1, until now. It seems like very logical, but let's see how I'm playing now. b6, a4, a6. Of course, his point was that after a5, he will play the move b5. And I play the move uh, b4. And I think overall, maybe this one, I'm not sure about this move because, yeah, it's, it's not so simple to understand what I want to do. Maybe bishop b2, uh, but I don't know. b5 will play, uh, black, of course, uh, will play the move a5 and after a5 he will play b5 so I don't know before maybe also my point was that uh, I'm covering the c5 square I'm not sure maybe just to develop my bishop to b2 or a3 so he played the move bishop b7 and now d5 was played by me because okay I understand that this bishop now is closed and after c6 of course c4 will come but uh, I I don't know why, but I took the c6 pawn. I don't know. It's really, really a bad decision. I think c4. Maybe I, I, you know, I afraid of a5. And after a5, this c5 square will be fantastic for the knight uh, from d7. He will play something around. I don't know. B5. Uh, maybe c takes d5. C takes knight c5. Bishop c8. Knight fd7. Something around this one and f5 somehow but yeah it's it's very difficult to understand why i didn't play the move c4 because this bishop is bad here and i must play the move c4 but okay d takes c6 maybe it's also one of my uh, bad decisions in the game he played the move bishop takes c6 of course bishop a3 so my point in this position that okay i want to play b5 and this uh, bishop a uh, pawn of course on d6 is a weak pawn and he played the move queen c7 very very logical right and don't forget that after i'm playing the move b5 he will go just a takes b5 for example a takes bishop b7 and this square for the knight will be just fantastically right um so yeah it's it's really really not good for me and my bishop is not doing nothing right is is just a bad bishop here so i play the move queen to b3 um i think makes sense overall and um, let's see how it goes so bishop b7 and now this c3 pawn also a little bit weak 
rook a c8 maybe this is his threat i'm playing with bishop to c4 i'm developing another bishop to c4 bishop h6 is playing i'm playing the move rook a d1 and now rook a c8 and in this position this particular position i really recommend you maybe to stop the video now and think by yourself what will be my plan what are the pieces in my favor of course that are better than his pieces which pieces here needs to be uh, more developed right so for example if i if i will help you a little bit this bishop on a3 for me maybe uh, you're not agree with me but it feels like it's it's really bad bishop right because b5 just a5 and knight c5 will come right so this bishop is doing nothing in this uh, position this knight on d2 of course is covering um this pawn on e4 but the knight can't move anywhere this knight on f3 another bad knight right because i don't know he can't go anywhere for now this rook is doing great job maybe to cover this e4 pawn this rook on d1 doing nothing because this knight will stay on d2 and i cannot open the file the d file and this bishop and this queen maybe are fine but overall uh, it seems like this pawn on f7 is protected and everything is fine so i need to think about plan how can i you know uh, maybe rearrange my uh, pieces position and how can i improve uh, each and one of them to a better position so if we would like to compare this uh, against the black pieces it seems like the black pieces are doing much more uh, stronger work right this bishop is seems very strong this bishop is doing great job in this diagonal this knight and this knight are doing fine at least right this pawn on e4 is weak this rook and the queen are doing great job in the c file okay the rook on f8 is a little bit um you know like passive just uh, defend the pawn on f7 but overall it seems like the black position you know is totally fine here and his pieces are doing a much greater uh, work than me so now i thought let's develop and let's uh, improve our position i played the move bishop to b2 and this was i think the first move that i really admit my mistake i really uh, remember that in this position i thought to myself okay i i did something bad to my game and let's you know let's let's do some a uh, conclusion and to understand that okay this is the time to admit my mistakes this is the time to understand that my pieces are doing bad job and i really want to think about something good for them so bishop b2 i think it's very very important move i'm going back i'm coming back but why i really want uh, to cover this pawn on c3 because the bishop cannot go anywhere because this uh, c file so bishop b2 first of all i'm coming back i'm going um, um under my queen here on the b file and now it's very passive no move but don't think that i will finish with passive moves so king g7 was played by black and yeah it seems like black is just waiting there is no plan for him and i'm playing another very passive move queen to c2 as you can see i'm understanding that the queen on b3 was not so good right okay this diagonal is maybe maybe uh, seems fine but not something you know beautiful right so i'm bringing the queen to c2 and maybe i would like to put the queen on d3 but on d3 as you can see rook fd8 was played queen to d3 now the queen is doing much more work one of them is just to attack the a6 pawn the secondly also the d file maybe the d6 pawn will be weak and another one is also to protect another protection for e4 pawn and now he played the move a5 and every move that our opponent is playing you must ask yourself what are the advantages of this move and what are the disadvantages for this move so the disadvantage of this move that he a lot weakness this square on b5 which piece do you want to put on b5 square i will answer the knight 
let's bring the knight, but oh, uh, we cannot play the move knight b1, knight a3, knight b5, because the bishop is under attack. So a prophylactic move, bishop to b3. Another quiet move, another a going back move, but every going back here is with the, uh, you know, the very important plan to bring the knight to b5. And when we will put the knight on b5, we will be like in our shape, in all the power and the active position. Let's see it together. So knight f8, knight b1, knight e6, knight e3, I'm coming back to activity. Knight e4, queen to b1. And you know, this position, maybe the bar here is going like, oh, black is good. And I can tell you guys, I'm not sure at all because it's not so important. I, I really uh, checked this position with Stockfish and it says like white is fine at least and everything is good. And you know, my plan, this is the most important thing. What is Stockfish said and also the computer here is, is really, really not uh, important for me because I really want you to think about positional understanding, okay? Understanding, of course. So King G8 was played, you know, my, my, my opponent is Grandmaster with 2,531 rating, feeder rating, he's strong player. So, I don't know, Black just don't have uh, moves and plan how to, uh, uh, to continue his attack or maybe to develop his pieces uh, much more and improve them. So King G8 was played, just uh, a quiet move and now I'm playing with all my pieces. Knight to B5. We are bringing the knight to the square that we wanted to bring them. Queen e7 and now another powerful move. B takes a5. We take the pawn, B takes a5 and now bishop to a3. You can imagine that my bishop is doing a great job here. This is doing fantastic here on the a3 um, diagonal. This knight, just incredible here also. This rook is doing great. Also the queen here on the b file and maybe the queen a2 on this diagonal, so everything is going forward. Don't you remember the how it looks like 10 moves before, right? All my positions were very passive. Each and one of them just can't move. And now they're breathing fine and they are just doing a great job in my army to the game. So he played the move knight to e8 because d6 pawn is just really weak. g3 was played, knight to e6 and now knight takes a5. Of course, you can see that all my pieces are very active. I took the pawn, of course. After d takes e5, of course, the queen uh, is just uh, lost. So he played the move bishop g7, just knight c4. This d6 pawn is weak, this a5 pawn is weak, knight c5 just take it, bishop d5, bishop takes a8, rook knight c6 and take the exchange up and of course in this position some moves of course and white is just winning because exchange up and two pawns up, it's, it's very very uh, nice for me and you can see that all my pieces are doing great job, queen c6 and my opponent resigned the game. So overall, I really want you to think and learn from this video only one thing. It's not a shame to understand that you did a mistake. It's fine. It's more than fine. It's way of life. So now, if you like this video, like the button and subscribe my channel. See you soon in the next positional and psychological think. Bye-bye.